My brother's keeper. We Gucci. We're live. All right. We're good. All right. All right. If y'all not with us on IG Live, y'all, if y'all are with us, go to YouTube, please. Check us out. All right. We're a little bit behind, and I appreciate everybody for joining. This is, I am, uh, let's get it. Uh, my man making me nervous, and it's big time. We got no, in, in no, prestige, man, big time no. announcement. But now we're going to have a whole lot of fun. All right. Yo, welcome to the Asian Stages Podcast. I am Rashid, your host, and we're going to talk about life, love, relationships, and all that other sh- You know what it is. We are broadcasting live from Sleek Chocolatier here in Houston, Texas, 5868 West Timer Road. If you have not been here, please come. Mention my name, and you'll get a discount. It's a great place, nice place to chill, bring a lady on a date, and get to know each other, and see what age and stage of life she's in. So I thank you, everybody, for joining us. Hope y'all had a great, great Monday. And we're about to bring in my guest. Y'all see him right here. He's none other than Jay Bradley, my cast mate from Ready to Love Season 3. He's in the building. He's gracing us with his presence. We're going to get into it, but I just want to thank him for coming. And we're going to welcome you to the show, man. I appreciate you, man. It's good to see you, man. My man, good to see you, bro. Come on, man. Stop it, man. (laughs) Likewise. I I meant to dress up because I knew who I was sitting down with, man. I didn't didn't get get everything. Uh, Oh, man, you know, like I said, I was going to wear a suit, man, because I know how you come with it. So we were both thinking, like, I got to go re-drip. I got to go re-drip. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) With a hat. You're killing it with the hat. What is that, man? Is that a You know what? Actually, one of my followers and my fans on the show, man, they sent this out to me. I think it's like Splatter Me or something like that. Oh, that's Yeah, they sent it out to me, man. I said, what, what size, small, medium? I said, I got a, I got a dome. I got a dome. <laughs> Bring me the dome size. So, uh, but yeah, man, so it's cool, man. It's a little flavor. Too. Well, that's what's up. Me and you are both in the hats, ball headed brothers, man. We're yeah. trying to protect it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah. we got to have style with it. Got to have options. What are we yeah. going to do? Our eyebrows? Yeah. You know, once, once you don't have hair, you don't have options. You know? If y'all don't know this dude, man, this dude should be a, a comedian. I don't know. Like, dude is super funny, man. Thank y'all for tuning in again on IG Live. Y'all find us on YouTube right now. We're going to take some comments and questions, and we're going to check you guys out. Again, appreciate you guys for joining us. We are broadcasting live in Houston, Texas from Sleep Chocolate Tail on 5868 West Hammer Road. And we're going to jump right into it, Jay. Yeah. We're going to jump right into it. A lot of ladies want to hear from you, man. And uh, we're going to get to the juicy stuff right now. But you know what? Let's just tell people, you're from Houston. Yeah. You're from the other side of town, I like to call it. You, you know, I'm from the, the north side, so the, we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about the Houston dynamics. That you're talking don't about know the about. most magnificent south side of Houston, <laughs> Texas. Is that what you're talking about? Right, right, right. Okay, that's what they say. Okay, okay. Right. So tell us about Jay, man. Where you from? You know, how you grew up? And kind of get us to where you're here now, man. South side cat. You know, yeah. eight style. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. But we're uh, from the south side, man. Uh, come from a... Uh, you know, we, we don't get a chance to choose our family, man. Yeah. Um, and I just have a great family, great support system, man. Mother, dad, and brother, man. I'm the youngest kid, bro. Okay. I had an older brother, five years old. So I grew up getting my tail whooped by him, man. Right, and then right. I started hitting the gym. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got playing football now. <laughs> he said, nah, we cool, we cool. So, yeah, so shout out to him, man. And um, just I'm a family dude, man. I got two kids, man. I got a little boy. I got a little girl. Right. Um, I'm having a little girl first, man. So that changed my game up, made me all yeah, sensitive and soft. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then, um, and then my little boy, man, you know how it is with little boys, man. They yeah. just, they're hard. It's like yeah. an extension of your all your manhood, and they just going through wreck it Ralph in it. You know what Isn't I mean? Isn't it crazy to see yourself in him? Bro. Bruh. It's, 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 it's like holding up a mirror. Yeah. The blessing is, though, you know, having my mother here, like, Mom, was I? Mm-hmm. Was I you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. She just did her, 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 her like, mid-70s birthday, man. She's okay. mid-70s, looking 55. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Cool, so cool, cool. Um, just being able to have her around and to, to talk about parenting and yeah, you know they got so much wisdom, man. so much. Yeah, it's funny you say that because my mom, we're about the same. They're about around the same age, yeah. and my mom's actually living with me right now because she got damage from the ice storm. That's so. And stuff that my son does, she's like. That's you. That's your child, that's you. bro. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I don't know why you're no your eyes. Like, that's, right. <laughs> that's you. Payback. Right, man. So you have, um, so yeah, both your parents are still living? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, I remember you talked about that. I think that was maybe in your introductory video. That your daddy still look at your mama booty, man. And stuff look, like that. They still be married. Like, talk about mama booty. Let that be the last time my mama booty come out your mouth. That's the same sentence you say. Booty was sentence. My mama <laughs> you know. can't put them both together. You can't. It's not in us. Not fight right now. It's gonna be chocolate flying everywhere. <laughs> talk about mama booty. booty. And white mocha. Yeah, and white mocha. And, and everything. Got white on. Right, right, right. It's sure gonna be best up, bro. No, man. But uh, you know, I, I, I uh, my dad and my mom, man, they're that original love story for me, man. So right. I think as men, we get our idea of what we want in a woman from our mothers, uh, with without the Freudian, you know, and then you know, a idea of what a man is from our fathers, man. Yeah. And so you know, my dad's a stand-up cat, man. Mm-hmm. And so it's uh, it's big shoes to fill, man. Yeah. Um, 
But, you know, it's That's good. what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, did your parents, um, how were you doing the ice storm? And then how were your parents? <laughs> man, I felt horrible. Look, I saw, I'm born and raised in Texas, baby. So, I saw. <laughs> I know where this is going. I saw seven degrees, and I was like, <laughs> let me get online. I'm going to schedule a flight. Now, right, man. right, right, right. And then, I mean, I'm talking about, I was having a good time in Miami, man. It was okay. like 75 degrees. Yeah, yeah, I saw a lot degrees. of people from Houston in Miami. Yo, word, like Houston my word, East. my word, I was literally, so rented a yacht, and uh-huh. on the back, I saw you chilling on the back, right? Yeah. And then I look, and the next yacht behind us mm-hmm. is Deshaun Watson and his girl. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. They were doing this, and then I saw all the pictures afterwards, man, but look, so we're having a good time, and I'm just getting and just enjoying life, yeah. and then, and I'm running my office from my laptop, blah, 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 talking to the team, and then I'm looking on IG, and one of my guys' ceiling is caving in, and I was like, oh, let me not post anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me spend a flight to get back. Right. And, man, when I tell you I couldn't get you back. You couldn't get back, right. Everything. Everything was shut down. And so I just felt horrible, man. I, you know, I was, so I was kind of getting my, some of my people, construction people and plumbers and all this stuff in place to help people that I know are infected. Yeah. Um, and then I had uh, one of my, my spaces that I have, man. I saw one of my guys. He, him, I was like, look, man, when I get back in town, meet me after the airport. Come pick up the keys. And so they were literally... Didn't have anywhere to go. Mm-hmm. Pipe bust in the attic, foot of water, and um, and so just being able to help like that, man. And, you know, we just got through doing a big uh, charity thing. Um, over I saw that. Mass. Yeah, we I did saw that, that and gave out. Uh-huh. Dude, the families we were able to help, man. It was. I literally was in tears at the end of it. Man. Right. I was yeah. literally in tears at the end of it. So it's so that's my before, mm-hmm. and then the after the ice storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your parents were they here? Yeah, yeah. Mom How said, did they make it through? Said, they were cool. They lost the power, um, and um, but like I think a sprinkler head bust or something okay. like that. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And they just turned that off, and that was yeah, good. good. That's a blessing. Right. So it was a blessing. What about you? Well, awesome. obviously your mom. Yeah, my mom. My mom got got um, got pretty uh, affected, but okay. now she's excited now. You know, she get to renovate. So mm-hmm. she, she, she looking on TV. I mean, uh, uh, HGTV, yeah. and looking at all this. So she's excited, man. Yeah. We already getting on each other. No, she be having. I said this last week. She be having the heat on hell, <laughs> and like, man, she be turning. She be watching CNN all day long. So we already get on each other. Nerd, but it's all love. It's all but love. you know what? The cool thing, and I know you as a son, like the cool thing is being able to provide for them as they provide. For yeah, them, man. So it was as great. much as you know, you like yeah. so get this, this is not the same. Mama, right. is my house. Yes, I, I'm a leader. This is in right. there just on, right. on, on purpose. <laughs> you know, because I, so you know, all my life, <laughs> all my life, I've been waiting for this moment. You know, what I'm saying that this is the stand in the sink. A hundred percent, man. <laughs> yeah. And but you remember, my mom had open heart surgery soon after we got back. Oh wow! Um, so yeah. I had to. It's so crazy. I had to move in with her and take care of her for six weeks. And I was in my old room from high school, sleeping in a small ass <laughs> bed. All I needed was my clear see through phone and my own phone line. And so I called my little girls and talked back in the day, man. Nah, you gotta, crazy, put, you gotta put the man. tape in and put it on 97.9. Or it was 102. And record, you gotta and record, record it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're showing our age right now, bro. We're showing our age. Well, at least we didn't say the A track. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta let the whole thing go and hear the song another time right. in an hour. You know what I'm saying? Well, good, man. I'm glad everybody made that. But I'm not about to let you slide on the yacht conversation, man. What? No, no, no. I'm not, I love both. Oh, yeah, love, yeah. No, no. We're going to say yacht, man. Yeah, okay. We're going to say right. yacht. We're going to say yeah. yacht, man. I'm mean, yo. Let's. let's you know what? Yes, I will say this. I will say this about Jay. Jay's a super modest guy, and uh, you don't brag or boast. You just mm. live life, and that's mm. that's cool. And then one thing you also mentioned that you really give back. You're really philanthropic. I've seen you do that even before the ice storm, yeah. and I see you with your Equinox Realty yeah. brand. You always yeah. out there putting on for the city. Yeah. You work with Trader Truth a lot. He's another Southside cat. So man, I want to big you up for that. I man. appreciate that. Man. And because we we want to work hard, we want to play hard as well. Yeah, you know and, what? Um, I, I don't let myself. My, my people get around me, man. Like my sister and my parents are like, "Jay, you need to take a break." Yes. And I go because it's it's not just it's not like uh, I think Dame Dash said something, man, that I don't think I'll never forget. I might be eighty years old and have no teeth. But I uh-huh. know this, is that he said, "You don't hustle for your first name; you hustle for your last." You know what I mean? And so oh, every time out, time out. Y'all hear what Jason said? You don't hustle. You don't hustle for your first name. You hustle for your last. Bars. Sorry, man. So, that was crazy. So yeah, but I mean, so it's, it's really it, to me everything is legacy. So you know, it's real estate or this and that, man. What am I building now for the future? And it's not just for my kids; it's for other kids that might not have opportunities, man. And so sometimes, you know, I've had a situation where I've had something in the house, or whatever, and kids haven't been involved in home ownership and not aware of, yeah, it, right? Sure. Because of maybe we came from a different community. And so being able to show that and do those type of things, man, is and like I said, I was in tears at the end of it. Man, yeah, I, that's there awesome. was, um, we went through, and it's real quick, man. We went through all the bottles, man. I'm talking about we had a whole room, half a room full of bottle full of, uh, no, it's like three pallets of bottled water. 
all my guys at the gym literally carried them out from the front to the back to bring it out to people, man. Water across the thing. And three hours into the event, it was three hours long, and I was like, man, all right, we got these last few bottles, right? And so we're salespeople. So I'm yeah. like, I gotta be able to get rid of it. I'm in Houston. Yeah, I'm in the I can right? get these middle, these bottles done. So I'm in the middle of the street holding signs, free water. Yeah. I'm doing a little, I don't do it right, the little, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. whatever the dance is, right? I own it for So at the end of the day, man, and we got some done, and then he's had the last two cases. And this lady, and I actually got my boy, uh, Joshua Dodd, if you know Joshua, man, he had stopped by, he was a pass by, and he was like, yo, Jack, what you doing? I was like, man, we doing a bottle, whatever. So this lady had a grocery cart. She just came from the grocery store. And she had, you know, she was walked, you know. Okay. And so she had all of her groceries in there. And I said, "Ma'am, can I give you um, some these last these last cases of water?" She said, "Yes, thank you." She was Spanish, whatever cases. So I know a little bit of Spanish, so we we're talking a little okay. bit of Spanish. And so I said, "Can I give you another case?" Mm -hmm. so put another case on, and I kind of weighed her thing down. And I was like, "So I was like, thank you so much." And she's like, "No, thank you." She's like, in Spanish. She says, "They were out of water at the grocery store." Wow. So that's how God will put you in a situation. Yeah, it's like, right. you know, all oh, your job is to show up and serve. That's it. And then he'll provide the need. Exactly, yeah. man. So we went from that and we had one of the churches right around the corner. Uh, got a chance to meet the pastor that came by after. They were actually, the same time we scheduled our event, they were actually giving away free food. We didn't know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my lady went around the corner and she was like, my folks, and she was like, hey, um, the church around the corner is doing that. So we, when we were, when they were giving out free food, they're talking about the free water around the corner. Yeah, we're giving out free water. You know, you they were talking about the food, and so it was just dope. Man. I, was, awesome. I was like, so we got a lot of more stuff coming, man. We're gonna fix some houses and those type of things. So there's literally people still in our communities, man, that don't have water. Yeah, we what, we three weeks out now. Three weeks haven't had water for it's three crazy. Weeks. It almost feels like uh, we were living um, like the normal floods world, yeah. and, and 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 hurricanes that we're used to. Man. It's almost like the same type of like. Yeah. Fall out from that, and people yeah, yeah. are displaced and away from their homes. It's really sad to see. And I've always, I was like, yo, how are we, especially Houston, yeah. the energy capital of this country? Come on, bro. Without and we don't know water. energy? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. make without it make problem. sense. Yeah, make it make sense, water. man. Yeah, I so appreciate was, uh, that, man. I, I like seeing you do that, man. And uh, I bet I, I definitely take heed and watch that, man, and look look up to how you run your business and how you get back to the community. That's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, like, sure. I feel like God gives you the opportunity to not just do your thing, but also to help other people, man, and see the community grow. You know, the dope thing is, you know, being at dinner and, and your boys being able to do all y'all doing the same thing. We're talking about different our conversations are different now. Yeah, I mean, I mean you yeah. have conversations. They're different yeah. conversations, man. We're talking about building things and, and for our kids and what we can do for the community. It's not like, oh man, I pulled shorty. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, 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 we pass those days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You heard it. We pass those days, man. Like, we talk about more mature stuff. We're at a different age and stage. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna get in there. We gonna move into that, ladies. I know y'all like. Okay, y'all get to the question. We about to get to that again. This is the Age and Stages podcast. Life, love, relationships, and all that other shit. We're right here at Slick Chocolatier here in Houston, Texas, 5868 West Hamer Road, right down the street from the Galleria. So y'all come check us out every Monday. Go get your shopping on, and y'all come see us. And you know, pull up, and we'll take questions from the audience as well. Before we move on, I'm gonna need that uh, that connect because we're doing Rodney's 40th. For the for the for the yacht, gotcha. he's going out to Miami. Gotcha. So you probably coming? Gotcha. So why did gotcha. hit you up? So All right. I got the connect. <laughs> <bro. We're laughs> that's one of my guys. Actually, uh, he's a captain out there too. Man. Okay, so nice. he was busy while I was out there. Okay, and I never, I've never done a yacht thing before. Uh -huh. Um, and so it's just like rental for a few hours. Man. Yeah. It's so beautiful. You get so a chance neat. to oh man, the sunset and yeah. you know with the right it. company, bro. And yeah, it's, it was good. I love it. I love it. All right, all right. Let's get into these questions, folks. I know y'all want to hear. It. All right, first one is from Jade. This is for Jay. How have you evolved in dating from a boy to a man? Uh -huh. What were some of the pitfalls that you had, and what advice would you give to young men? That's a good Ooh, question. That's deep. That's Ooh. deep. And she like, went to the bottom oh, of the ocean with that one. Yes, yeah, she yeah, does. She <laughs> good. That's good, baby. Uh, so, from boy to man, man, I think we just kind of tipped on it, though. Like the things that we look for are different. Yeah. So now. I'm like, you know, the outside is great. We're men. We are visual yeah. creatures. Yeah. Um, but I spend more time on the end of seeing what works. And I have an idea in my head of how I want to show up for my wife. Okay. You yeah. know what I mean? And so everybody, I feel like everybody, we're always focused on, well, they didn't do this. They didn't do that. I have an idea. I have a picture of what that looks like. Right. You know what I mean? And so um, I visualize the husband that I want to be for my wife. And so for me, I look for that now. It's not the, you know, the outside needs to be nice, whatever cases, but somebody that I can sit down and relate to, 
somebody that can be a friend. On the show, we talked about they were like, well, what do you like? I'm like, man, I want a friend. Yeah. I gotta have a friend first because there's gonna be situations that you go through in your relationship that your friendship will kind of drive the car at that yeah. point, right? Like and that. then the relationship, the girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, whatever title sits in the passenger seat, I need the friendship to drive the car mm -hmm. um, because that's gonna take us to a safe place versus if we're just dating and, and you just fit this or I just fit this for you, then you're not gonna consider me or I'm not gonna consider you as a friend and so I'm gonna deal with you differently. Yeah, so the way I'm gonna like react that. to things are gonna be different. Um, and that's important, man. We, we both had marriages and so at the end of the day, you wanna have somebody that, man, you can, you can go through some things with, you know? We, we're not the same dude you were, I'm not the same guy I was. We, our experiences make us, you know, who we are today. And so that's my thing now, man. That's that's the the void of men part of it. Yeah, it's just understanding sure. myself more, so I can understand others. Okay. And so what a, what the second part of that question is? What pitfalls that you go through? Maybe the younger Jay, and we're not perfect. So any pitfalls you go through now, you're still learning, or stuff you know for sure you'll never do again that you really like. <laughs> you man, trust that, 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 that hot you right now. I'm not that doing that no more. Hot. Um, you know what? I, I think that we can we can talk about spiritual. I remember being on a date and the girl was like. We were, singing in church, Sunday service and this and that. And I've mentioned church a few times kind of as a, so let me sprinkle it yeah, on there and see if she, she, she grabbed it. And she never did. And I was like, so, uh, you know, she's like, oh, no, I'm uh, atheist. And I was like, cool. I guess you can see it on my eyes. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, like, a, you know, how's the body doesn't stand out. And, and I, you know, I finished the date because I felt she was a nice woman, but I already knew right then and there yeah, it wasn't. that it wasn't. And so why tie her up with that experience with me? when she could find somebody else that's yoked in that way for her. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something that I've definitely learned, man, is, is find somebody that you're equally yoked with on certain things um, because that commonality will create longevity in relationships. Yeah, no, 100%. Y'all hear this, ladies? Jay's dropping bars right now, but that's really true. That comes from the old school mode of thinking. I think nowadays with this whole, you know, look at me culture, we forget some of the key foundational things that, probably kept your parents still married, Man, evenly yoked, and focusing on things that motivate you. And I always talk about this, in the tug of war, one person's pulling the other side, that rope's never going to move. We right. want to pull in the same direction. You pull in the same direction, you'll win. Yeah. So that's a, man, I love that. That's 100%. That's 100%. So speaking of, I just want to, we're going to come back to the questions, folks. But you, you said the spiritual speaking side. Of, it's like a doozy. So huh? it's like, you said speaking about, like, oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, oh, Lord. Lord. <laughs> no, but. Something that they did not highlight on the show, man, versus your spiritual side and the fellas there, all spiritual side and our walk, yeah, you know, our spiritual walk and you guys and I'm and I'm still mad that I wasn't a part of. I don't know what I was doing. I think production called me to do something, yeah. But you guys at the the love lounge, yeah. the the fellas had a real spiritual moment where they broke down and talked about life experiences life traumas and I from what I remember you were one of the leaders of that right. and you had the Bible and brothers was really can you talk about that a little bit because was, they didn't get to see that side yeah, of it. I, and I was kind of surprised that they didn't air it well people don't realize how much editing is done and so there are certain narratives that they want to push because that's what people want to see and I was surprised that this wasn't one of them man because I mean it literally you know was a, a table of you know nine men yeah. um, some of us me included in tears Right. Um, going to the deep ends of talking about things, fatherhood and all that stuff. But it started out, man, every morning I would get out and I'd go out because we, we didn't really have any privacy. Yeah. Once you left your room, that was it. And so, you know, I, in the mornings I would sneak and go down. You had to know to, when to get out. You know how to know how early. I, yeah, yeah. I would, I'd get up at like five something. So I'd yep. sneak down to the pier and sit on the dock. And I'll do that on the regular. Just kind of have some med meditation and maybe exercise, whatever cases. And then this day, man, I went out there early and God was like, go get your Bible. Mm -hmm. I didn't get my Bible. Mm -hmm. I just got the little Gideon joint yeah, 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 in the yeah, hotel. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. It's like, I don't want you on your phone. I want you on the work. All right, cool. So I go back in with the risk of getting caught because uh -huh. I snuck out in the first <laughs> place, right? So I went back, got the Bible, came back out to the pier. Mm -hmm. He read me to some great strippers or whatever cases. I'm walking back to uh, the rooms and I run into Anthony. Okay. I said, hey, bro, what you doing? He's like, man, I'm about to go eat. And I was like, I don't do breakfast because I intermittent fast. I don't eat yeah, too yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I Especially that. with that food, it was easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so I was like, I might not eat It was to abstain. The bread. It was pushed back. Method. Absolutely. So I was like, bro, but God is leaving me for some reason. I'm going to go break bread with you and I'm going to have breakfast today. He said, all right, that's what's up. So me and my answer was cool. So we sat down, had the Bible right there, we were rapping. 
Edwin comes in, Chris comes in, everybody comes in except for you. I think, like you said, you was at what's yeah, the problem? I think I was. And so Edwin was kind of talking about some stuff, man. And we really, man, I, and I don't want to reveal all that conversation right. if he hasn't, but we dug deep, deep, man, yeah. to the point where I'm like, bro, I'm here for you. I don't yeah. know if I find love, but I know that God had me here for this moment yeah. to walk through this journey with you because my my experience with fatherhood is different than his. And so I was able to share mine and feel his. And I and, and you know from mentoring kids is that a lot of times the kids. Like that fatherhood connection, I'm sure that's probably one of the reasons why you're such a great dad. That dad, as a man, mm -hmm. that's what you're looking at as far yeah. as your leadership and what to mold yourself into. So it was a dope, man. I mean, mm -hmm. I took, man, that, that was just Yeah, a that's one of the moment. things I regret they did not show. They show powerful black men being vulnerable, talking, transparent, and on walk with God. So, man, so. Boo hoo and like a baby. Right, 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 right man. <laughs> so, like I said, I wish I was a part of that. I don't know where the heck I was. I think they had me doing something. But you know that was powerful, and uh, I think they needed to show that. And I was I was disappointed that they did. Maybe it'll be on the outtakes or something. There's yeah, so much something stuff. like that. There yeah, were so many sure. great moments that we had that they just had to condense what you know forty eight hours of filming into mm -hmm. you know into forty five minutes or something like that, man. So yeah. hopefully we'll see it. Right. And to Jay's point, I said this before. Like once we got there, it took us about three four days to figure out the nooks and crannies, when to get out, when we weren't being mic'd, and also you had to get out super super early. Like to Jay's point. Because we had to get out before mics, before cameras, so just to have some alone time, just to breathe and meditate, right. just to walk, like, because everything right. was, like, filmed or recorded. So we had to get out super, super early. But uh, now you're 100% right. So, all right, let's move on. So this next question is from Miss White. This is for both of us. Okay. Okay. What is the end goal? For women, for the most part, she says, it's a loving husband, beautiful children, and a nice home. All right. Next, I, she's in her 40s, and men she's meeting that have never been made are still looking to are still looking for hubby benefits with no commitment. What is the end goal for you guys? So basically what she's saying is we want our cake and eat it too with no ring. And she's wondering what's going on. She's in her 40s, and men, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're dating or like-minded or like -minded ages, so in ages and stages. So what is, what's your opinion on that? Man, I feel like... <clears throat> Outside of the house, like I want a nice wife, I want our our kids, my kids to be happy. Bro, I'm just focused on happiness. Bro. Yeah, like that's for for me. That's everything. So I mean, I can live under the bridge, and as long as our kids, that's not that's not the goal. Yeah, know yeah, I mean? no, but, I get you. But you know, people have this idea that everything is fixed with money. Money causes more problems because you have more options with with just the simple stuff, bro. Like just be able to look at my kids and smile and be a good example of man for them and. You know, family taken care of, bro. Yeah. Be able to help the community. For me, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really see that. I, th I think for a lot of my guys, we really want to get to the point to where it's automatic. So, for example, you meet a woman, say, okay, cool, man, she's vibing, and we really, I feel like we know. You either know or, or it's like there's some of it's there. Okay, guys, and let me we get enough the credit for knowing. Yeah, we man. don't get enough credit for that. You know, give us our credit. Yeah, give us. Can we have our credit? Point or two. Just yeah. two points. <laughs> So I, I feel like for us, man, it's just we know, but there, it, it's you're just trying to see if some of those things work with your personality, right? Because it's not just about us; it's about we want to make sure we show up to be the right man for them. Yeah, for sure. You know? So 100%. what about you, bro? I agree with that. Um, so to her point, I, I kind of get what she's saying. She's uh, one. I would say you may be fishing in the wrong pond, and what I mean by that is you may be not leading with your expectations because you said something earlier that I think is important. We're at an age, you're at the age of stage. I keep the, keep harping on that, but that's why that we call it this. She's in her 40s. You need to be giving your expectations up front. Not, not to where it's pressuring people, but I need to know where you stand so you can know where I stand and you don't waste a whole lot of time. Yeah. But to your point, like, I want a teammate. I want... You know, that rib, I believe in that. Yeah. Not in front of me, not behind me, but yeah. to my side. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And once I have that, and we have a good understanding of where we're going, pulling in the same direction, we want some of the same things. Now, we don't have to be identical, because I do kind of like a little bit of a yin and yang. Yeah. So I can pull you out of your comfort zone. You can kind of pull me out of mine. Defense. And, you know, and have that little <laughs> dynamic. But with that being said, um, working towards whatever the end goal is, is whatever we set those things to be. And whatever God has fit for us, we're going to be working to get that. If that's a 1,500-square-foot home, then so be it. If that's a 15,000-square-foot home, I want us to work to what's ever out there for us. Yeah. Like, like we'll, the home and the, the finances will take care of itself. 
if we are pulling in the same direction. So I would say to you is don't give up on that because there's brothers out there like me and Jay that know what we want and are ready to be that next chapter and ready to move on. We want we want love. We want marriage. And me and Jay have talked about that before. But we're not, we want it to be organic and we're not going to rush anything. So it's important for us to know where you stand for us to know, for you to know where we stand as well. I think it also depends on the guy. Like, I don't want to have a second divorce. Yeah. Even though I filed and went through that process, for me, I failed. Because that wasn't the intended goal. I don't want to fail twice. Right. We're competitive dudes. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, so, so at the end of the day, man, I, you know, I, I think it just depends on where the guy is. If it's a guy that's never been married right. and she's in her 40s, yeah, yeah. well, then you might have to look at why he's never been married. Right. Yeah, you got if it's a guy that's been married, then I know for me, I was one of those rare people that when I was going through my divorce, I looked at my attorney and she was like, you get married? And I was like, hey, I'm going to get married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it wasn't marriage that was wrong. Mm -hmm. It was our connection that yeah, was wrong. Yeah. You know, so I'll be more careful next time. But it, there's nothing wrong with marriage. No, not at all. No, no. And to the last her point, the benefits with no commitment. I said this a couple of weeks ago, and you know, I I, I asked my fellas for forgiveness, but oh, like you I said, have we gonna keep it the profile. <laughs> we gonna keep it real on age and stages. I said, ladies, if y'all get to this point where you're just giving up, you know what? And there's no commitment. Remove your services. I say it again. You have to be sharp. Remove your services, and then you see what happens, because. If brother ain't looking for you in the daytime with a flashlight, then it's time for you to move on. And that's the one way for you to get a real, real, not the full, not, not the fix-all, but remove your services and see what happens. So, so, fellas, forgive me, but I'm just being 100. So, so I got to gotta, gotta <laughs> represent for the fellas because you know me, but I, you know, you can't come on with it, come on with it. Swings both come ways, on with it. Bruh. So at the end of the day, I've had situations where, you know, women are busy during the daytime and they just want you to come through at night. Yeah. So should I, should I make sure that I keep my services to myself? Yeah, that ain't right. <laughs> that ain't all right. I'm just saying all just right. Absolutely. Sure oh, you no swing both ways. You okay, swing okay. both ways. Okay. Okay. Yes, for sure. But uh, we don't. I will say this analogy. <laughs> <laughs> this, this analogy does. <laughs> we make eye contact. Yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't get it twisted. Yeah, not, yeah. A, not at all. All right, let's move on. All right. So this this question is from Lisa. This is for Jay. Uh oh. What Come is on. your must-haves and your deal breakers? I'm assuming in in a woman in relationships. Yeah, I'm sure you've answered um, this before. So you know what? It, 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 it's shifted from you know. So at this point in life, man, I just want somebody to see myself happy with somebody that I can see my, me making happy. And when I say making, I don't mean oh she was a sad person. That we can have mutual happiness together. Mm -hmm. Me, which which is a being joy. The yeah. word happiness yeah, 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 yeah. twice is right, 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 me, right. my idea of what I joy is. And so I uh, was like, damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, at the end of the day, man, you know, we've kind of said stuff that loose this, but I just want to have somebody that you're happy coming home to and, mm. and waking up with, man. And it's not about makeup and all that type of stuff. It's really no. about um, the person inside, the, the, the soul that you get a chance to go through this life with. Um, so for me, um, a, a, a great a personality is, is, is needed. You don't have to be super bubbly and outgoing, but um, somebody that just really has um, happiness inside already, yeah. man, because I'm a happy dude. I wake up like, man, I, I, I've dated women where they're not warning me. I wake up like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, thank you. Good morning. I know you just said, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's me, man. And so, um, and I mean, we, we, you know, we stayed next to each other. You know what I'm saying? So in the morning, I'm like, hey, what's up, dog? How you doing? I'm just, that's just me, man. So it would probably be, and I've dated girls that aren't that way, but in life, if we can be that way together in life, that's what I'm talking about. Appreciative of every moment, man. Um, and, you know, just the gratitude flowing from with from within that's that's my thing man. yeah that's what's up we're, we're so blessed bro yeah like we are sitting in air conditioning drinking clean water and if you go to the restroom there's clean water in the toilet yeah that some people in, in other countries have to literally yeah, walk 100%. to get yeah that water here is clean that we're just using so why are you waking up why are you waking up with the what touch problems face? what problems do we with have the ice grill in the morning we don't man, have problems you. man we have inconvenience yeah we don't have so problems bars we don't have yeah we have inconveniences that. I love so, it. And any deal breakers? I guess is that kind of those kind of yeah. Coincide. You don't okay. love life, man. Yeah. Like you ain't about to make me mad. I just right. make them happy. Yeah, you know? that's hundred yeah. percent, man. I, and I life. said the same thing, man. I just, like, I want someone who has a passion for life. Yeah. Whatever that looks yeah. like to that person, passionate about getting up and doing whatever it is that you do, be passionate about it yeah. because that resonates with me. 
and I love passionate people. Yeah. That whatever that may be. So I, I love that man. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so y'all here I'm making um, a latte in the back. So next time y'all want to come out, live audience, we welcome you here at Sleep Chocolatier here in Houston. And we're going to move on to the next question, you guys. All right, so this one is from Liz. This is for Jay. You mentioned you were married for a short time. Yeah. Would you get married again? Do you feel you were able to, would you'll be able to notice red flags and signs in advance this time around for your potential partner? Yeah, I mean, and, and the big piece is, uh, you know, like I said, yes, I'll get married. When I was going through my divorce, I was like, I can't wait to get married again. Um, and it's not because of my mask, because I just truly believe in love. Man, love is just one of those things that's, that's powerful. Yeah. Powerful. You never, you know, love somebody so much, and you hug them, your heart does a funny thing, and this and that. Like, that's a beautiful thing, man. So, um, that piece. And then, um, I don't think the yes, of course, you see red flags. But for me, it's more about red flags and cap compatibility. Okay. Yeah. Right. And so it's not like, oh, she chews with mouth open. Okay, we can talk about <laughs> right, that. Right. But do we not? Do you have the potential to um, deal with the adversities in our relationship that are going to come up? And that's where the friendship piece comes in. So if, if I don't think that we can be friends, that's the biggest red flag. You can be the most beautiful, smart, da 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 da, all that type of stuff. Yeah. But if we can't be friends. Yeah. You heard that, ladies. He's mentioned that a couple times. He wants friendship. He wants the friendship. I don't want to. I don't want to mess over your words. You want the friendship to drive the car. Yeah. That's gonna lead you to the destination. I, I literally just because of our conversation. I had never said that before in my life, but like, it makes sense. That makes yeah. like I'm stealing. Yeah. I'm just telling yeah. you. Go ahead, man. Y'all heard I'm stealing. Yeah, yeah. Copyright my ish. Copyright my ish. <laughs> They put it in a book right uh, there. Right. I, get yeah, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, I get two cents. Boy, he hit me again. Just cash at me. I ain't got one cent left after the fees, but that's all good. That's <laughs> one ten at a time. Hilarious. <laughs> I get gas money. Oh, gas money. Man. So uh, I'll answer that question as well. And y'all heard me say this at nauseum. Um, I love marriage. I think I was a better person, a better man married. So I definitely look forward to being married again. Um, I think uh, it's just a great thing. And, I, and I'm, a, I'm kind of a sucker for love. I remember I used to get teased for that. Like in college, high school, stuff like that. You just get teams, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But hey, I'm, hey I'm, I got big, I broad shoulders now. I did my push ups, you know. Right. You know, I'm like, suck at the love. I'm 43 years old, man. Right. Call me that all you want to. What was that Mel Gibson like, with the Devoe song? <laughs> what? Lover. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how the boys used to play it. But uh, no, man. Uh, and red flags for me is, again, I'm more about the passion for life uh, and just kind of what motivates you. And of course, family. Finances, we have to have that discussion because, as you know, as you said, that's a big deal. It can be a big deal if certain things are discussed up front. But yeah. um, let's move on. That communication piece is everything. It's huge, man. Yeah. It's huge. Okay. Oh, uh, this is funny right here. Uh, this is from Brenda. This is, from <laughs> this is for Jay. So on the reunion, Joy mentioned that you needed some work in the romance area. She did. In the she did. <laughs> have you worked on it, and how is it going thus far? Man, it's going good. Okay. I've had a couple of uh, opportunities to uh, uh, work on that, man. And, um, yeah, it's just good. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it because a lot of times, man, it takes somebody close to you to be like, hey, uh, you know you zip it down. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like somebody needs to call you out mm -hmm. and do something. And so I had never had heard that before. Right. Um, and then I actually went back and talked to my ex. And I was like, yo, was I don't know, man. I remember I used to do this. Yeah, was like, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Because like, you're right. You went back to, yeah, that's, that's what's up. I, I, look, we, uh, there's, this is a, a process. This is a journey. So I always want to get better, whether it's, you know, in the gym, yeah. whether it's at work, personal life, being a father. Like, you know, I read dad books all day. And people are like, man, well, you're a great dad. I'm like, uh, I can always do that. Always. There's always yeah. something else, you know. I'll, I'll get something, from my, you know, your son is older than my son. So I'll get some things from you that right. I haven't gotten to yet, uh -huh. but you can mentor me with, like, yeah, bro, you know, when you get to this point, yeah, you want to make sure you drop them off of practice and then you stay there. Yeah. That's up, whatever it is, man. So, yeah, so you can always get better. So I appreciate him saying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's up. But you went back and did your research, man. That's what's up. Look, my perception of me was not, not, not their perception. They were like, <laughs> you're a great guy and loyal and all right. these other things, but. You know, because I, you know, I would get like, you know, the roses here and there, yeah. just or just on the whim, or like, hey, just because I was thinking about you and having to live it to the job. But you know, I think it's more in the daily stuff because I can be so full of work mm. that the daily, you know, hey, I'm thinking about you during the middle of the yeah, day. Yeah, that's difficult. That's sometimes. where that's where I, I, I slack. But on, I think so. I think also to that because you know we're both out here working and trying to get to whatever level that we feel is 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 our goal. But I think it's important sometimes to have. A lady that understands that. Yeah. 
yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, ladies, if you have, you know what you're getting into with maybe a, a, a workaholic or a guy who, who's, who's really working, especially an entrepreneur. Not saying he's putting his business in front of you. Right. He's putting his business there so you can provide, be yeah, with him yeah. and be with you. So, ladies, y'all have to sometimes <laughs> kind of, we not be, might not be able to check on you at lunchtime. <laughs> we might not be able to hit you. Not I mean we're thinking of, we're not thinking about you. But um, just take that into account. Because um, I've had those type of um, I didn't know that was, from ladies as I well. didn't know. I'm glad she said it because I didn't know that it was needed. You know, if I, if I I'm, I'm big into my family. We're big and I love you. So if we're in a relationship and we're to that point where I love you, the last thing you heard from me would say was I love you. But then fast forward, she might need that. Hey, yeah. how's your day going? Yeah. And so I had, I had a couple of experiences here recently where I was able to do that. And I was, I was like, we had a conversation about it afterwards. She's like, I love that you check on me during the day. And yeah. I'm like, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's new. I'm right, 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 that's new. Right. But so this is most stuff that you need, let me know. Yeah. Because how can, you know, iron sharpens iron, man. How can yeah. we improve and let there's somebody else that says, hey, man, you can, you can tighten up over here. Tighten up. And yeah. That's what's up. No, a hundred percent. I thousand percent agree with you on that, and it's just it's just conversations need to be had. Yeah, and it's just it's just growth from from both parties, man. A hundred percent. But uh, so let's move on. All right. So this next question is from anonymous. Uh -oh. um, this is for both me and Jay. This is a uh, how <laughs> how do you feel about Kevin Samuel's high value man concepts and ideals, okay. as well as his direct and raw approach to women. So, if you're not familiar out there, Kevin Samuels, most of y'all ladies are, he's the one that has got a lot of new notoriety for really, really coming at these ladies really, really raw yeah. and giving it to them the real and talking about high value men. Yeah. So, what have you been kind of hearing that from I, the streets and kind of seeing what's of, going on with that? I saw a couple of clips, man, but I can't say that I've, 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 I've watched it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and so, if I, if I did give an opinion, it would probably be one of, of, of lack of knowledge, which is ignorance. Right. Yeah, yeah. But from what I get is that it's a little straightforward, and I can be straightforward too, so I get that. But some of the stuff is kind of like that I saw. I was like, God, ah, no. yeah, like, yeah, you, know what I'm you said that, yeah, just straight up. That's what we're right, doing. Right. Um, you know, I I, I I try to treat treat people a different way than that. Um, at the same time, it's the information that they call for. So I have to assume, like if you call Howard Stern, you know you what you're gonna get when you know, yeah. So I have to feel like there's there's a place for it, um, whether it's mine or not. I don't necessarily agree with it, but I mean, if women are calling in and they know that's how, that's yeah, and they're still get, calling, so they and know, and yeah, so there has to be some type of a value to do that, right? right. So yeah, if you so, go to a restaurant with bad service mm -hmm. and you still go because the food is so good, yeah, yeah, then there has to be a reason for right, it. Yeah. Right. I got you. I got you. So with that being said, I know his his kind of high value man is. A successful man, whatever you feel that may be. Yeah. Um, having his quote unquote kind of pick of the litter okay. for women. And we're not accepting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not my words. It's kind of. Right. <laughs> okay. But this certain man right. gets his choice whether or not he wants a five or a six. Maybe he's only interested in eights, nines, and tens. Right? So the six and sevens want this man from Kevin Samuel's standpoint. You'll never get that man because he's a high value man. Do you feel? Do you see where I'm, where what I'm going are we with that? Calling a six and a seven because my ideas, I like that. Those that's things what I'm are totally with. different. Like so, what I thought was a ten back in the day mm -hmm. isn't something that that might that be a six now. Yeah. So <laughs> what I, what I consider a ten is that somebody that I can have a great friendship with, that we have this great connection, that we communicate well, those type of things. So I, I think to say that a woman's a ten and she's a ten and that's it, or she's a six and that's it, it depends on the man because, like you said, younger we might have thought she's a ten, now we think she's a quote unquote six. But it's based on what that man is looking for. So just because one man says you a ten or one man says you a six, don't mean you a six to everybody. I might think that you are eight and nine or ten. Mm -hmm. Because those things that are of importance to me are present right up the top, on the top. Because I've already been through a marriage. And maybe yeah, I had what exactly. I thought was the 10 or whatever case. Exactly. And now it's reshaped my ideas of what yeah. I wanted somebody and how I want to show up. No, I 100%. So this quote unquote man out there, I think we're all different. We're all different, unique beings. So I don't think you can prank that broad brush. Because um, I know plenty of whatever society considers a successful man yes. that doesn't have that type of blueprint of woman that she needs to look like this that and the third I think that could be very very shallow and you may miss out on a great great opportunity and a great great helpmate and spouse going forward and with his raw approach 
when I see someone, I could ne- I'm like, I could never say friends, that bro. to a woman. Yeah, like, I could friends. never I like, say that. Ugh. Like, dude, does, does some of the stuff he says, like, anything someone says could be true. There's, there's like, yeah. two, like, parts of that can be true at the same time. But I, I don't see, I could never do that because um, I was raised by a single woman. And I was never, I, I don't want to call him, right, I don't want to call him <laughs> disrespectful, but I do call him a little bit off-putting in some of his his words that he says. Now, again, do I agree with some of the stuff? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you can listen to anybody agree with it. I would love to talk to him and have him on, yeah. have him on the show. Yeah. But um, as far as this high-value man, I think that is painting, painting a broad brush. Well, if you man. think about it this way, right, so... It's with the show, I consider, so I don't know his definition of high value yeah. man because I don't know if I agree with his 6 to 10 scale or whatever, yeah. right? But with the show, we all had different, just on off the rip, different attractions. Yeah. 10 men, 10 different ten different women, and my top wasn't the same as your top. Yeah. So that means what I consider to be a 10, you don't consider to be a 10, right. or vice versa, right? right? And with the girls, it was the same thing. Very rarely did you have two or three people agreeing on what that ranking order was. Yeah, um, sure. So I think that's a perfect the perfect example of everybody's different. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. But I, I do like, I do want to hear other people's perspective, and I like to hear him, and I can tell he's a well put together, educated brother, yeah. and I would love to sit and kind of pick his brain and kind of see where, because it seems like he's been doing this for quite a while, and he's got some kind of compiled of analytics yeah. coming from the sports background as myself, like for him to form this, this these opinions and these thoughts. So anyway, let's move on. Kevin, come on, man. Get on the show. Yeah, know, yeah let's do it. Grab man. your mug and, yeah. and, and, and he's a, and he's, and he's frat, so shout out to my noobs out there, man. Kevin, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I'd love to have him on. All right, so let's move on. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right, this is from Jonathan. All right, we got some colors in the house. All right, so let's ask this question. Jay, have you always been in real estate? What did you, if not, what did you do before? And what advice would you give people that's looking to get into the real estate game? I was in IT and IT sales and restaurants, man. That's oh, what wow. I learned. Um, you know, I started off as a waiter and, you know, we ended up owning restaurants. And so um, the service part of what we do, um, it, it's funny how your past experiences, whether it's business or personal, will God uses those to prepare you for what you have at the end of the day, right? Mm-hmm. And so all of those things that I did prior, actually, I mean, stuff that I still use now when it comes to service that I learned in the restaurant business, some stuff that I used when I was in IT sales that I learned then, um, we actually implement into our company now for Equinox, man. Okay. So I've um, been in real estate for 20 years, and um, man, it's going great. I, I, I thoroughly, I, I get a chance to do what I love to do yeah. with people that I love to do it for with a team that, you know, I brought on and you know and and they're amazing at what they do so um allowed me to be you know at the show for as long as we were there and my team well we had one of our best months while i was going i was like well, maybe y'all just well, don't, y'all need, y'all me don't need me right right well, let me just go i'm gonna go back to georgia then um uh, so yeah so man it's a blessing man and my father was also in real estate man so it's a legacy deal. okay that's you know what I mean? okay. yeah I so i got that. a chance to see him and his passion for negotiation and the way he carried himself and and business ethics and um, hopefully, you know, implement those same things and execute them with the same um, amount of integrity that he did. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure people reach out to you as they do me, and they see our business and what we do, and it looks fun, glitz and glamour, but it hadn't always been that way. And, and, and I know you can attest to that. So what advice would you give, or do you give to the DMs and the people reaching out like, yo, I want to do what you're doing, and they see the fruits of your labor now. They don't see the labor. They just see the fruits right now and yeah. all the seeds that you plant. Yeah. So what kind of advice would you give to people that are just starting out young in the game and want to get to your level? It's, it's funny because I never post like our day-to-day stuff and people have been asking me for that. So that's why now you might see me posting stuff. I might be in a suit sweeping out a garage because this is the real part of real estate yes, that you didn't yes, get on the, yes. the smile. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get the, so, I mean, you know, uh, it, I literally, I think the other day I was... That was something that was stuck at a client's house or something, and I was in a suit and took my shoes off and yeah. was in barefooted, you know what I'm saying, in the dirt doing whatever. And the client was like, Jay, you don't have to do that. I took, like, there was some water spots or something, man. I had a three piece suit on, so I took my vest off and, and said, Jay, that's your vest. Like, don't worry, we're going to get this house ready. Right. You know what I mean? So, so you can't look at the highlight reel and say, Man, that was a dope one. You know, you got to, I mean, real estate is a grind, man. And my first three years, um, it was all day, every day, every single class I was offered and this and that. And then I'm huge on education. So still to this day, and I just now got to the point where I'm taking weekends off. Man. Yeah. I still take, when I'm when I, when I, bro, on a vacation, 
laptop, okay. iPad, oh, both phones, yeah. you know, um, and literally it's just, it's the same office, just a different view. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, bars. You know what I mean? It's the same. Bars. But hopefully get to a point to where it's like, man, I cannot, I cannot do that. Yeah. And the goal is to get there so that way you can literally be present with your family, a little bit <laughs> present with whatever's else. Is going on. That's awesome, man. And uh, I basically say this would, would uh, echo that sentiment. Um, and then also, what I would say to that is, you know, people, and, I, and I'm guilty of this, people want everything right up. I want, uh, I want to sell a million dollar homes like Jay, my first week in the business. Right. They don't understand you had to probably sell those $150,000 houses. I still you know, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent three hours of my day negotiating a deal on a $170,000 house. People you see don't, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, absolutely. That's, that's, you and, that, that. and that was the most important deal that I was working on today. Um, yeah. And we just put another house in the market that was at 1.2. And so I spent... You know, the, the three hours prior to talking to the yeah. client for one point two, I spent dealing with this part of the yeah. transaction for a hundred it was a hundred and sixty something thousand dollars or whatever case is. Right. Every client just like with you, whether it's you know, whether it's uh, C C T S, is that right? The, yeah. the, the yeah. small Cadillac, yeah. yeah. or it might be the big boy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Escalade that right. just came out. You know, that client is just as important as that client. Yes, absolutely. So yeah. yeah. I get asked that all the time. They people ask me, Do you only sell luxury vehicles? No, not at all. I mean I sell I tell everybody, I sell anything from a Hyundai to a helicopter. Right. And everything in between. And that's where I grinded. That's where I got and learned the business. So I would never let that go. But I, I specialize in a certain area, just yeah. like most people do. But that I would never turn any of that I stuff had down. Not at all. Friends of mine, yeah. like I was dating a young lady, and she and bought a somewhere house. Else. And from and it wasn't her personal house; she was buying a <laughs> whatever cases. And but I was like, "Are you serious? I was just at dinner with you last night." You know, be all the time, bro. Like, she was like, "Jay, I didn't want to waste your time. It was only a blah blah transaction." Yeah. I was like, "Yo." Like my team needs to eat, you know what I'm yeah, saying? My kids are like, that's true. That's that's yeah. water burger next yes, week. Yes, they don't. Y'all do not understand that. But person in sales, yeah. if you go elsewhere just because you don't want to inconvenience us, take it personal. Yeah, we take it big time personal. We big fat. We big mad. I had, to, I, had to, I had to take a couple seconds and just like meet the phone and like, <laughs> right, right. All right, we good? Yeah, yeah, no, it's cool. No, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad you like the other house. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Man. So we're coming to the end, guys. We got a few more questions. We're going to try to take a few of the comments and questions, and we're going to end. Uh, we appreciate Jay for your time so far. And uh, we just got a couple more things we'll get yep. to. And uh, this is for both of us here. Uh, Jay and Rashid, has your business picked up since the show? It just has. Kind of In right different ways, it. though, but it has. What about you? It, it, mine has. I'm getting a lot of uh, more inquiries. Yeah. Um, but it has, and you know, my car guides on YouTube and stuff like that. I get a lot more views with that. Um, but it's picked up. People are reaching out, um, and I'm trying to now. It, it's kind of becoming where you need to filter those to the right segment, to the right area. You know what I'm saying? And um, not to not to overlook anyone because you don't want to feel like okay, this person's not on the priority because they want X, Y, Z. Yeah. I just need to compartmentalize those things and know how to um, manage my efforts and my energies. Exactly. So, you know, that's kind of what uh, the juggling. So I brought on some more staff to kind of do that. So, uh, you know, that is, that is uh, you know, I can't, I can't complain. I know you're not complaining. Not, not at all. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so next one. Jay, would you do another uh, reality show? Dating? <laughs> hell no. You sound like hell, me. Mama, hell no. Um, I think it was one of those things that where it's, it's moments, right? And so this was a great moment. Like, if you look at your life as a book, that was a great chapter. Um, I appreciate it. I got a chance to know great brothers like yourself. Um, we have, like, all of us, I feel like, have a certain kind of hype bond. Like, we went to summer camp for six years together. Yeah, you know what I mean? For sure. Um, uh, but, you know, I've done, you know, I have Welcome to the Prize. That was a client of mine. So on a business level, yes. On a personal level like that, no. no. Yeah. And I would sentiment, I, I would echo that. Uh, uh, not another dating show, but uh, another reality show. You know, it depends. Uh, I would like to host one. I'd like to be like what Tommy does. I wouldn't mind doing that. Fun. <laughs> that would be fun. That would actually be yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love something like fun. that. You're not yeah, in the hot seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And then, speaking of the, the Sweetie Pies experience was a, um, was a question. People noticed you from Sweetie Pies. Mm -hmm. And so how'd you get involved with that? Were you their realtor or you did yeah, this so, I mean, I do residential and commercial real estate okay. so a lot of my clients are restaurant clients that are new restaurants coming into Houston or restaurants that are expanding to multiple locations in Houston and so um, they were fine of mine man I enjoyed working with them I was on uh, once uh, I can't remember what season number it was maybe season number nine 
and then season 10 or 11, they actually came to Houston. They did LA first, I'm sorry, and then the next season after that, they came to Houston, opened up their restaurant here, and uh, without a hit, I think it was 6356 Richmond was okay. the location. Right. Weird, I'll never forget that. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, I was able to do that, but since I have a restaurant background, man, um, they had That's me, right. you know, I, I, I just, I was able to help, but actually my guy Mitch that ended up being the manager at the end of the day, I went to high school with him, hired him and some of the other people, man, and to kind of help running the restaurant, um, customer service, bringing that stuff in, that was, because, you know, they had so many restaurants, it's hard to, you know, have five babies out there that you're managing, but they're in different states, and so I was able to help that on Sundays and did this other stuff, man, my daughter would be, my daughter was actually, like, you know, I think the scenes where I was Jennifer showing her properties or whatever cases, my daughter was in the back of the range, you know what I'm saying? Just like duck down or whatever because they were filming and then, um, you know, she was there a lot of the times and at the restaurants because she wants to open up a restaurant she gets older. So it was a good experience for her to see all that That's dynamic. So awesome, yeah. And I, one thing I noticed, uh, if you keep your kids with you most times when you're doing when you can, you bring them I along. Mean, you let them see that, man. Yeah. You let them see yeah, it. Yeah. And to your, your daughter wants to open a restaurant. Yeah. Like yeah. This, and it's funny because my son, first day of school, First grade, he's in second grade. First day of second grade, right? He had to write what you wanted to be right. when you grew up. Yeah. And he brought it home. He said he wanted to be an NBA basketball player and own his own car dealership. It's almost like, you know, the, the tear joint, you know what I'm saying? As a product, like, you know, that's what's up. But you bring, we bring them along and they can see the work. Yeah. And you talked about working for the last name, not the front. And that's what we're doing. Well, I think the, the, the great part about that, too, is that they get a chance to see the real world experiences of what it's like to do whatever it is own a restaurant or be in a car business and you're working until late hours or you, you might have a client where you got to go drop a car off to the woodlands just yeah. to get an Uber back or whatever the case it is and it's just that yeah. level of service and so they get a chance to see not only okay cool we get a chance to go on vacation and you know we got a, we got a roof over our head but they get a chance to see like man daddy works so like you know like my daughter sometimes man it sounds bad and I hope C CPS don't call me don't come over. <laughs> but she's a teenager now so it's cool but like literally I fall asleep on my laptop in the bed and my daughter I wake up and she's putting sheets over me and can't close my laptop and cut an eye off see that's why I want a girl yeah yeah oh man oh man it'd be alright it'd be alright you know yeah man that's my role oh I need that in my life I used to carry her she's 14 now man I used to carry her in my arms like a football man and she did not want to be anywhere daddy was not like it was just so now you know, she said, she, I picked her up from school the other day, man. She sat in the front seat, and I was like, okay, yeah, what yeah, we doing? Right, yeah, right, right. That's so, funny, man. That's so, funny. The father is it's the best thing ever. Oh, that's you, awesome. You, I, 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 my, I felt like my life really started when I became a father. Mm -hmm. And so all week, like, when I, when I mentor guys, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't have the kids, man. I don't want kids. And I was like, man, I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your thing. Yeah. But the best thing, like, I used to use it as an analogy. I had a good bachelor life and then I got married and had kids and, and I enjoyed that so much more than I did this. Yeah. And so like it's like having black and white TV with no surround sound and then you have a kid and it's full color, full HD yeah, with surround sound. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's that experience, man. Life just becomes so much more better because you have these kids to do it for and then also to see what, how the impact like with your son, yeah. how you have on their life, you know? Yeah, for sure. yeah. All right, guys, we're about to wrap it up. Uh, one other question here. I ain't going. I, I ain't going. We're going to stay. We're going to keep it a whole other hour. We're going to kick it. <laughs> uh, with you being so busy, building your empire, do you feel you have time to be a good boyfriend or good potential husband? Uh, you know what? That's a great question, man. <laughs> I, I feel like, and I've looked at and this. from a guy named Barry, too, so he must be hustling out there. Okay. All right. I'm hoping he's asking for the right reason. Uh, but I think for me, man, it's, 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 it's really about... Um, you know, when you know, you'll take the time. Yes. That's what I've noticed. So, you know, when I looked at the relationships, and then this show actually helped me go back and analyze some things. Why I spent this much time here, or why didn't I do this in this situation, but I did it in this situation. And what I've come to is that, man, I'm, pass I'm, I'm a passionate dude. So if I'm doing real estate, I'm passionate. If I'm in my fatherhood, I'm passionate. If I'm, pass I'm passionate about it. And so things that I'm not successful in are the things that I'm not passionate about. Right, and so the relationship that for me to be in a relationship, it's gonna have to be the friendship, all those things, so I can be passionate. Cause, Cause then, you take the time, you take the time to, you know, send the text message right in the middle of the day. Man, I hope you're having a great lunch or whatever. You know, maybe a selfie at the desk or whatever. Just you know, I haven't seen you all day, but I look forward to it. Whatever those things are, and I found that if I'm passionate about who I'm with, and it's all those things seem to fit, then I just need to be more careful in my alignments and my connections. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, for me, it's uh, 
it's an old cliche, but you make time for things you want to make time for. Same thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, it's and like I said, I value I said what I said. A woman. <laughs> I value yeah. my teammate because I feel I'm better when I go out there into the world and jump on this hamster wheel we call life and this hustle and bustle. So if if we're at that point, like I'm gonna make time. I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever it needs to do to make time and I know when I come on, I'm, I'm going to try to unplug. Yeah. And you've got my undivided attention. Tell me how your day was. I, I don't want you to, to live through my work day. Yeah, yeah. Let's decompress it. Tell me. You vent to me. Yeah. Because I've been out there, and you've been, you probably had a tough day, whatever she's doing, whether, however she earns a living, she's going to have some, some bad things. Yeah. And I don't want to pour all that into her. I want to, boom, get there, talk to you, tell me what's going on with you, and I really want to be there and listen and empathize with what you've got going on. So I definitely think brothers who value a woman, we have to value you. And if a guy doesn't value you, then you don't need to be with him anyway. And you'll know right away. Yeah. Um, you'll know if a person's making an effort. You'll know if I'm, okay. Because uh, uh, a woman will know. He's got a good man. Okay. I know my man's out there really, really hurt, working. But I know he did this. I know he means well. Yeah. And I know he's caring, but he's thinking about it. Yeah. So um, yeah, I definitely think you can make time for whatever you want to make it, time it's, for. It's when that connection is there, man, I find that it, it's easy. Like, you know, I, I've been in, uh, you know, I had a situation really, I was talking to him, I was like, yeah, she's like, we, we talk so, like almost every day. We talk at least 30, 45 minutes a day, yeah. you know, even during the work day. And I was like, man, I really felt her. And that's why. Mm. I found time. Yeah, exactly. You're going to find found it. time. And so that, and then I, of course, I look at everything else. like, man, I never really talked to this person. I only saw this person once a week where I wanted to see this person five times a week. And so I think it's 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 that, you know, you know, and those things. And every guy is different. Every guy's availability is different. Yeah. But for me, I found myself finding time for the right person. All right, this last one, man. I have to ask this question. I have to. This is from Miss Mackey. We're here for it. Let's go. <laughs> Miss Mackey said, oh, I know what, what is your current uh, relationship or status with Joy or Winter? We're going to end on that? <laughs> we got to go another two, three minutes. No, so, uh, I get you. <laughs> you know, I, I, we had, like, some amazing moments. Okay. And, and this is International Women's Day. So it sure this is. is the perfect question for the perfect day. Those are absolutely amazing. Yes. Joy is an amazing woman. Um, and, and Winter is an amazing woman. And it's just about having the right connection. So, you know, it didn't go past um, into anything that's currently going on. Right. Um, but it doesn't take from the fact that I, I always think that our journey is, is what it's supposed to be. Like I talked mm. about earlier, your past experiences help shape you for what your future is. And God knows what that is. Right. And so past jobs, past relationships, um, those women will definitely be a, a major reason. Like even with, with the question you asked me earlier, with, you know, her saying about my rent, I went back and analyzed and like, yo, I thought I was romantic. She's tripping, yeah. Yeah. Like, no, I was really tripping. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, you can check in on me. You know what I mean? You brought the flowers, but you didn't check and call. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and so understanding that piece, man. And so so I, I appreciate those moments that I got a chance to have with each one of those women on the show. And, um, and you know, they're phenomenal. So whatever guy ends up with them, yeah. man, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's in for what, one of at the time, of, the time of his life, you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just amazing. You know, right. oh, you, yeah, they're oh, amazing. It's just amazing. Yeah. Everybody, just so dope, man. Yeah, yeah. Just everybody, and not everybody is meant to be together, but the experiences with men. Yeah, one hundred percent. I totally agree with that. And both phenomenal women. Um, and actually, Joy's going to be on the show next week, y'all. So Joy will be oh, here be a great show next week. So I'm looking forward to having Joy. And I didn't want to say I did. I do have one last one, but come this, on. This is from Miss Mac. This no, not from Miss Mac. This is from Anonymous. Jay, you are so sexy and chocolate. Okay. Have you ever considered modeling? Or have you modeled? I'm having a problem. It's kind of like with my mom and the booty thing. Right, me saying that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and then they put anonymous. Like, come on, man. Y'all help me out. Is this really you or she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, man. man. Oh, I, I don't. So, I, okay. So, the last part of it was have I. Nah, man. I'm, I'm a real estate broker. I'm a business owner, man. Yeah. I, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, and I have done stuff for charity, but that's not. Uh, I don't think that that's, look, if that's, if that's what God says I'm supposed to do, then okay, but uh, I, I really enjoy what I'm doing. I'm happy doing what I'm doing, man. Like, just to wake up happy and not have to go to a job but love your career. Oh, come on, bro. I like, I can work 15 to 16 hours a day because I enjoy it. It's not hard. Uh, yeah, so thank you for the compliment. Uh, yeah, 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 that's what's up. Uh, yeah, I never got asked that one. But. You know what? <laughs> you know, it, it's, 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 uh, 
I, I'm not sure you did, man. I'm, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do a podcast. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna put you in a hot seat, man. We're gonna, you know, so, so the women say you, you, you're absolutely caramel and refreshing. What do you think about it? You know what I'm saying? Well, how do you feel? Oh, man. man, this has been fun. <laughs> do you feel okay man. for me to say caramel and refreshing? No, not really. That's why you know, Sean said, oh, this has been fun. <laughs> Moving on. Moving I gotta take my hat on, off for the man. caramel and refreshing. But, yeah. man, this has been super fun. Remember, guys, for these questions, I'm getting people send these in, either DM or they email them to agesandstagespc at gmail.com. That's where I'm getting these questions from. So for next week, for Joy, if y'all wanted to send those questions in, agesandstagespc at gmail.com. But we're going to finish up with Jay here. Jay, what do you got going on? Tell us what's coming up. Tell us about your business, anything new on the horizon. Look out for it. Just man, give us the whole deal, man, where we can follow you, all that. Man, God is so good. Like It's just been this journey. Prior to the show, it was absolutely amazing. Including the show, and I know what he has for the next stages um, with my agents is going to be. I had to bring it. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so um, but yeah, so it, it's been really cool, man. So the real estate company Equinox Realty Group, uh, we have an amazing team, man. We're doing everything across the, the gamut as far as when it comes to real estate, residential, commercial, apartments. Um, I've been doing that for twenty years, man. So that's a passion. Like I told you, that's a legacy thing for me. Um, you know, the gym, we just had a, the event over there, man, so that's doing really well on uh, Muscleheads Gym on Emancipation, man. Yeah. You got to come out, man. Yeah, KG, what's that over there? Yeah, okay, I've yeah, been yeah, there a couple times. Yeah, um, yeah uh, last year. You know, it's so far from me. It you is. Y'all live right there in the city, pretty, man. Pretty, yeah. I love I rode my bike there on Sunday, uh -huh. man. Um, I never rode my bike, so I rode my bike, did like an hour workout, um, and then and then rode back to the house, man. But um, So that's going on, man. Kids are doing great. Uh, so we're going to start like a, this winter storm. This was stage one of the winter storm initiative that we're doing right now. And then the next stage was really just people that have water. Get them water first. Up with a plumber, man. Actually, the guy that came and fixed my stuff. I didn't have water for a week and a half, bro. You know, I was doing the, I was just going to call it a sink bath. We just going to call it a sink bath and not say what I want to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right? So, so at the end of the day, man, so the next thing is we're going to be helping people fix their houses, man. There's a lot of, it's two, two blocks over from around where the gym was. Um, families still don't have water, mm -hmm. and so um, and we're talking about Third Ward, Houston, Third Ward, yeah. Third Ward, Houston, and, Texas. And so um, uh, I'm going to team up with the pastor of the church that I was saying about that they were giving away free food and really find the people that have a need, the older people that have been without, you know, power, um, been without water. And then also um, fix their plumbing, man, do that type of stuff. Because a lot of people don't have insurance, man. They've been mm -hmm. in the houses for, you know, 60 years or whatever cases, 40 plus years. Houses paid for. Houses uh, paid for. Uh, Nobody's making that insurance. And so at the end of the day, man, we just want to be, be, be a part of the community and be a blessing to the community, man, to continue to do stuff. So so um, uh, that, that man, and then, you know, everything else, man, just work. Man. Just work. So, yeah. That's what's up. Well, Jay Bradley, y'all, I appreciate you for coming on, man. Come on, bro. Great conversation. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Asian Stages Podcast every Monday night, 9, 8 Central. We're here at Sleep Chocolatier in Houston, 5868 Westheimer. Or you can catch us at YouTube Live, Asian Stages. I really appreciate you, brother. We got to do this again. Come on, bro. Uh, real you know, I'm going to put you in the hot seat. Yeah, I'm ready. Next time that. on Ages and Stages, Jay Bradley's going to ask the questions. And yeah, I'm going to put him in the hot seat we're and good. ask him how his, uh, how his, his uh, uh, caramel and refreshing, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> situation is <laughs> so going. People just tuned in. They don't know where the context from caramel and <laughs> Man, we'll get out of here. Hey, thank y'all so much. We'll see y'all next week. Appreciate it. One love. Much love. Southside. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Oh, man. Man, what's up? It's a wrap. Yo, thanks for having me on. Man. That was dope, man. No. You good with that? That's yeah, cool. yeah. That's cool, bro. I said I got to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's on wax. <laughs> right. <laughs>